Hello again. Uh, back with a bit of progress on, on my APG project. Uh, things are progressing. Um, I just want to make a point that I'm going to do two lots of videos. This is my experiments, APG, and the other ones are going to be my opinions. So, this is my APG work. Now, uh, yeah, desoldered all the coils and looking at each coil individually um, as I spin the thing up there's some some coils are giving me a, a reading of anything up to maybe 50 microvolts and uh, I'm pulsing in a signal but uh, no a lot of it's not right I'm gonna have to strip um, bits and pieces of it down and rework it. But, uh, here it is. And messing around with just different coils here and uh, different thoughts. This was my, uh, if you can see it, the particles in it. Get a magnet, you'll see it better. See that? That was uh, ground up stainless steel, and it seems to go going very well at the minute. And uh, I thought of uh, as medium, I was going to put cooking oil on it, but um, like olive oil. But I've decided on the stuff here, uh, baby oil, it's, it's uh, not just as thick, and this is a pump, it's very noisy at the minute, so uh, let's see, Well, it does circulate. <coughs> it's, it's just a different medium putting on it. Uh, experiment. That's what I'm doing. Just uh, try different things, and uh, it's it's coming together. You know, it's I've got other pieces of equipment. Uh, this is something new that I got. It's an old Evo signal generator goes from 0 uh, kilohertz up to 240 megahertz now what I'm going to do that I don't know, I still have to learn the ins and outs of it and um, what practical uses I can put it to but I have it hooked up to the oscilloscope let's see if I can get different signals out of it Again, I'm uh, just learning yet what's what I can do. We may not put nice pictures on on my oscilloscope. Uh, this is just a new piece of equipment for me, and uh, again, this year's the uh, thing is going to need rebuilt. I uh, I think it's an LM324 uh, was I'm going to build one with an NE555 in it. Uh, but uh, this is an update um, where I'm at. So I have circulation, I have, I can uh, get the metal particles around it, and we'll see from there. I'll just uh, take it, take it as it comes. But yeah, thanks for anyone who's watching and. Uh, it's uh, as much appreciated that uh, comments on on my work, and I'd, I'd say I'd like to thank everyone and take a look at my channel and my other videos and see what you think. Leave a comment on on what you're doing it. 
what you what you think of it. Um, very interested in the 3D printing at the minute. Uh, I think it's a rip wrap. It's called very very nice piece of equipment to have, and hopefully I'm gonna gonna get one myself. But that's further down the line. I don't I don't want to be distracted from from what I'm doing at the minute. Too many different projects would sort of throw this to the side and. I'm experimenting, like I say, every day on this, and I'm getting different different readings on on coils that that were wound exactly the same, same direction, same amount of turns, but different uh, different readings on them. And the ones some are passing through the three coil, the three tubes, and some are have the other four tubes away the way it's wrapped around. Part of your internal EPG you have uh, four coils overlapping at one point, and you have three on the other side. Uh, that's sort of giving it a different rating as well. Um, well there you go. Uh, see what I'm up to, and leave comments. Always well appreciated, and check out my channel. But for now, peace. Thanks.